What's up guys? It's me, your girl Elisa from stylishcurves.com and today your girl is back with a new video. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so for today's video, I am actually going to be trying out a brand that I have not tried in a while. I can't say a long time, but in a while. And that is Torrid. So I found some really cute spring and summer dresses on Torrid as well as some shoes and a little jacket. And I was thinking to myself, like, am I too old for Torrid? You know, Torrid is such an old school brand and not old school in the way like they sell old clothes, but meaning they're one of the very few brands that were out here making youthful and trendy clothing for curvy and plus size girls. So I thought I would give them a try and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the pieces. So if you are interested in checking out this video, you guys already know what to do. And that is to keep on watching. started so like I said in the beginning it's been a while since I've fully like shopped on Torrid when it comes to Torrid they are basically geared towards a younger demographic so I feel like their clothing is for anywhere from like a, a teenager all the way up to somebody that's maybe in their early 20s and so I always feel like Torrid has that very youthful kind of what I would like to say teeny bopper-ish <laughs> kind of clothes and I just wanted to go on the site and see what they had that really caught my eye or that I felt really worked with my personal style let me just slip in this disclaimer for you guys these pieces were gifted to me from Torrid because I knew I wanted to do this video I actually reached out to them and they were more than happy to send me some pieces that I like so that is what I'm gonna show you and also I'm gonna style up the pieces in a way that I know that I would wear it so this way you can see that you know it doesn't really matter where you shop at whether it's for whether it's a store for a younger audience or even a more mature audience style is style so you can make anything work for you Enough of my yapping, so now let's get into these Torrid looks. All right, so I'm gonna start off with shoes. So Torrid shoes ranges in size from a six to a 13, and all of their shoes are wide width. Now, I have had a couple of pair of Torrid shoes, and I will tell you they are truly wide width because a lot of the times, especially with their boots, their wide calf boots, it winds up being too big. So I picked up a pair of espadrilles from them they come in this little black torrid box these are what the shoes look like they are a pair of espadrille wedges they lace up around the ankle and they have a linen fabric these are in a uh, I would say like a maybe cream beige color they are so cute now I got this in a size 10 and a half so as I've told you guys numerous times that when it comes to shoes and wide width shoes, I have like a semi wide width foot, meaning wide width shoes most of the time are too big. And if I do get a wide width shoe, I have to size down. So I actually got this in a 10 and a half. I am a size 11 regular. So I thought the 10 and a half would be a good fit, but unfortunately these are actually a little too big. I told you guys. <laughs> so I really needed a 10 and these and not the 10 and a half. So nonetheless, they're, they still work. Um, I could just put like a little insert in here to make it, you know, fit a little more tighter. Nonetheless, I really think that these are a, a nice sandal, especially for the spring and summer season. They're very comfortable. So for those of you who don't like heels, these are perfect to give you a little height, but still be comfortable. Torrid has some other shoes on their site that I really like. Uh, so I'll leave links down to like two more pair that I like. So definitely check out that description box. So first up is this really gorgeous color. It's a nice bright summer red. It is such a cute dress, especially all of the details on it. It has that sweetheart neckline, and then you get this little 
uh, tie knot in the front with a little keyhole opening under the tie. It is spaghetti straps, but it is adjustable. And then on the back, you do get the elastic uh stretch band in the back it is a fit and flare silhouette meaning that it's more fitted in the bust and then it begins to flare out at the waist it also has pockets on the side and it is layered at the bottom so you don't have to worry about it uh being too sheer because it is a, a slip attached to it i decided to style this with the espadrilles i just showed you from torrid i thought that looked really good with the red this dress is just so pretty and I also added a straw tote bag with this. This is exactly how I would wear this dress. I really love how beautiful this red color is. And then all I would have to do is throw on my little Chloe shades and call it a day. We have a fantastic, easy breezy summer look. Listen, this dress is just gorgeous. I hope that they bring it back with more colors again there will be links down below for you guys to check it out i did get this in a size four and typically in torrid i am a three but i did get the four just because uh for the bust area sometimes they're not cut roomy enough for my tiggo bitties <laughs> so i need that extra room but I, i'm actually happy with the fit of this dress so I love this look and if you guys like it, definitely check it out before it sells out. Alright, so now let's get into the second look and for the second look, I have this multicolored striped smock dress. First of all, you already know, all of the colors is what drew me to it. Now this dress also has pockets on the side and it also has an adjustable spaghetti style strap. And then on the strap, you do get a little bit of ruffle detailing on the front, which I think is helpful if you want to wear a bra with this because then this would probably cover the front. And this has an elastic smock at the top, which makes this very comfortable for those of us with Tiggo Bitties. And <laughs> this dress is just very flowy. It's really good quality. It has, it's a linen blend. And this also has a slip under it, so you don't have to worry about it being too sheer. And I just really love the colors in this. Now to me, when I first looked at it, this kind of gives me a little more like a 16 year old throwing this on with her sneakers. But the colors and just the silhouette of it, I thought I could definitely make it work for my personal style. And so for an outfit, I chose to rock this with a pair of ankle strap platform sandals in the color orange just like a reddish orange and i actually got them from bakier and then i also uh paired this with a denim jacket i feel like for the spring denim jackets are perfect and so i thought that that would be a really cute and casual look for you know lunch or you know a brunch or something like that something a simple you know daytime outing and i just really love how this dress fits nice and flowy this dress I got in a three and the reason I got this one in a three because the top part was stretchy and then it flared out so I figured I would have been fine with the three but I love this. Let me know what you guys think about the look. Now it is time for the look of the day darlings. <laughs> So for today's ensemble, I am keeping it casual yet cute. Um, I'm wearing an outfit from Amazon. So I got this top from Amazon The Drop and it's a three quarter sleeve. I really like this top. I've actually worn it a few times. If you have heavier arms, this is a really nice top for you. It does have a lot of stretch in it and it hits me like right at the hip mid hit a little bit then i have on a pair of semi-matching green joggers and these are a really nice fitted pair of joggers these are super comfortable now the colors don't completely match the top is like a tad bit lighter than the pants and i think that's just because they feel like they're different material the pants seem a little more thicker than the top but far away i think it looks like it, it matches so i thought that that would be cute and i'm also wearing a pair of uh snakeskin print slides from amazon the drop now amazon the drop shoes go up to a size 
I want to say 12 and they have some cute shoes now they their shoes aren't leather a lot of them is just you know different texture materials but they still look cute so I thought that these snakeskin slides worked really well with the green a nice you know neutral base for the green and this is just an easy look and that is the look of the day Now let's get into some outerwear from Torrid. So I think Torrid has some really good outerwear. It doesn't, again, it doesn't matter your age. They have really nice coats, spring jackets. So I wanna show you guys this denim jacket that I picked up from Torrid. Now this one I thought was a nice little unique denim jacket because it is collarless and it is cropped so it's a little shorter than your typical denim jacket or the, the denim jacket I had on previously and it is also a three-quarter sleeve this jacket does have a lot of stretch now I got a size four in this one and I should have gotten a three just because it does have a lot of stretch in it but it doesn't look bad it looks it still looks good to me but I did want it to be a little more snug in the fit but this gives more kind of like a relaxed fit nonetheless like I said it still looks cute now for an outfit to make this work for me personally I decided to wear this with an all white look so I got a pair of white boot cut jeans and then also like a white tank top with lace detail in the front and along with the denim I thought that was really cute together <laughs> next look what I do have is this red and blue stripe stretch maxi dress I really love the red and blue color in here I thought that was a nice little easy way to color block and this one as well has the spaghetti straps and look it has ruffle detail at the bottom it's really long so I'm five foot seven and a half so I thought this would look really cute as an outfit with that crop collarless denim jacket I just showed you I thought that combination was really nice and then I just put back on the lace-up espadrilles so I love this look I'm going to show you is what I would say is a bit teeny bopperish. So I have a pair of skull printed leggings and these are some good leggings though. These are some good quality leggings. I would almost say these are pants. <laughs> They're nice and thick. They're not see-through and they fit amazing but the reason why i would say that these are a bit teeny bopper ish is because of that skull print that is one of the things you do find on torrid that can kind of throw you off if you are not into things like that so you'll get a lot of disney printed you know t-shirts and stuff or disney style dresses and i get it because again like i said they kind of speak to more of a younger audience now this is actually a part of their new collection which is called their retro sleep retro chic <laughs> i'm about to say sleep their retro chic collection and the retro chic collection is basically a throwback to tour it when it first started 20 years ago because i think this month they're actually celebrating their 20 year anniversary so that's how long they've been around and so they wanted to kind of redo some pieces that made them popular and these skull prints really do sell on their site but like i said it's not my thing but sometimes just because something isn't my thing it doesn't mean i can't make it work for me so i wanted to show you guys how i made this work for me so i took these skull printed pants and there's nothing wrong with skull printed pants listen it's just again not my thing i wear plenty of prints that people don't like and i'm like okay that's your business <laughs> that has nothing to do with me that is your business like tabitha says <laughs> um but i get it so that's why i kind of just wanted to challenge myself a little bit and say okay if i were to buy this with my own money how would i style this so i decided to take those sculpted printed pants and rock it with this t-shirt that i also got from torrid this is also in addition to the pants part of their retro sheet collection and it just says on the front make your own luck and it has this fire print in black and white and then it has roses at the bottom again 
a little teeny bopperish to me <laughs> but I thought this would look cute together with the skull printed pants and a denim jacket and then I just threw on my black and white Nike blazers and for me that would be a very casual I'm running to the store kind of look or you know I'm running some errands and I want to be comfortable but I still want to look you know cute and put together during the summer and springtime so I, that's how I would have styled the leggings and then if I wanted to like dress them up a little more I would just swap out the t-shirt for a cute little strapless top throw on a blazer and some heels with that and I would honestly like rock that out going to you know maybe grab some drinks or going out for dinner or something like a casual dinner and I think that would be a cute look as well and after like styling up the leggings and trying them on I actually really like them <laughs> and so I'm definitely going to incorporate them in my you know spring wardrobe and then even in the summertime but again with just like a t-shirt I could also do an oversized button up white shirt and you know maybe leave a few buttons open so it wound up working out for me and again style is style you have to pick things that work for you and work with what your personal style is so to answer my question in the beginning am i too old for torrid I've come to the conclusion, nope, I'm not. <laughs> uh, when it comes to a brand like Torrid, they definitely have some gems. And I really just think that dressing for your age is, that should just go out the window. You dress for what you like and how you want to look and how you want to feel. All right, guys, so that is it for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. There will be links down in the description box for you guys to check out everything that I tried on. I will also put my sizes next to each piece. And then also I'll link some other some other items that I saw on Torrid that caught my eye. So definitely check out you know some other options that I'll have listed below. If you have not, hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to see how I style some of these outfits or you want to know what I wear on a daily or weekly basis, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Stylish Curves. For more plus size style, fashion, beauty, celebrity news, make sure you check out the blog stylishcurves.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!